do you sometimes feel like you're invisible and nobody ever listens to you? Well, unless you're a superhero in disguise, it's time to ditch that invisibility cloak and make some noise. How did you know? I love this song! In this video, we'll uncover the top five tips to help you going from being a stealthy ninja to the life of the conversation. I was on the highway, baby was running on the highway. Whether it's at work, with friends, or during family gatherings, we got your back. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll be the life of the party, or at least not feel like Casper the friendly conversationalist. There, see? Stick around till the end for a bonus tip that'll make people not only notice you, but actually want to hear what you have to say. Hint, it might involve flexing your funny bone. All right, fasten your seatbelts, grab your metaphorical megaphone, and prepare to metamorphose from an invisible wallflower into a charismatic attention-hogging dynamo. Who needs superpowers when you've got these tips up your sleeve? Tip 1. Master the art of active listening. Surprisingly, the secret to getting people to listen to you is listening to them first. Be attentive, ask open-ended questions, and display genuine interest in what the other person is saying. When you actively engage with others, you create a positive feedback loop that fosters strong connections. Remember, people love talking about themselves, and they'll appreciate someone who listens. And here's a little secret. The more you listen, the more you learn about the other person making it easier for you to contribute to the conversation in a meaningful way. So before you know it, they'll be more than happy to return the favor. Once you've got them feeling good about the conversation, you'll notice that they'll start to pay attention to your thoughts and opinions too. But don't forget, with great listening power comes great conversational responsibility. Keep the focus balanced and you'll be golden. Now that we've tackled the foundation, let's dive into some more strategies to make sure you never get ignored again. Hint, it's time to strut your stuff. Tip 2. Project confidence with your body language. Did you know that over 50% of communication is nonverbal? That's right. Your body language speaks volumes, so it's time to turn up the volume. Stand tall, maintain eye contact, and use open gestures. Basically, pretend you're a confident peacock strutting his stuff. Just maybe don't start fanning your imaginary tail feathers, or people might pay attention to you for the wrong reasons. But seriously, practicing power poses and confident body language can actually change the way you feel about yourself. As your confidence grows, others will pick up on it and respond positively. People are naturally drawn to confident individuals, making them more likely to listen to what you have to say. When you exude confidence through your body language, you'll be turning heads and capturing ears in no time. Remember, a little swagger never hurt anybody. All right, you're halfway through our top tips and you're already turning heads, but there's more. We're about to teach you how to captivate your audience with your voice. Tip three, speak clearly and concisely. Ever listen to someone ramble on for what feels like an eternity? Don't be that person. Instead, speak clearly and get to the point. Practice your enunciation and vary your pitch and tone to keep things interesting. If you sound like a sleepy sloth, you can't expect people to stay awake, let alone listen. So channel your inner Morgan Freeman and captivate your audience with the power of your voice. Also, remember to pause and breathe. This will give your listeners time to process what you're saying and make your speech more engaging. Plus, it'll help you avoid turning into a runaway train of words that eventually derails into an awkward silence. By keeping your speech engaging and to the point, You'll command attention and ensure that people listen to you. Soon enough, you'll have them hanging on your every word. You're doing great. Just two more tips to go and you'll be unstoppable. Ready to find your tribe? Let's do it. Tip 4. Find common ground. You know what they say. Birds of a feather flock together. Find topics that you and your conversation partner have in common. This will not only make the conversation more engaging, but also build rapport and trust. After all, Nothing bonds people more than discovering they both have an undying love for 80s hair bands, collecting vintage postcards, or binge-watching an obscure sci-fi series. When you find common ground, the conversation flows more naturally, and people feel more comfortable opening up. Sharing personal experiences and stories helps create a connection that goes beyond the superficial. So, dig deep and discover those shared interests that will make your conversations unforgettable. As you establish that connection, 
your newfound friend will be more inclined to listen to you and value your opinions. Remember, the strongest bonds are forged in the fires of shared passions. Last tip coming up, and it's the cherry on top of this communication Sunday. Get ready to unleash the real you. Tip 5. Be authentic and approachable. Finally, remember to always be yourself. People can sniff out insincerity from a mile away, so don't try to be someone you're not. Smile, show empathy, and let your natural charm shine through. By being genuine and approachable, you'll create an atmosphere that encourages people to engage with you and truly hear what you have to say. It's okay to be vulnerable and open up about your thoughts and feelings. This shows your conversation partners that you trust them, and they'll be more likely to reciprocate. So, embrace your quirks, your strengths, and even your weaknesses. These are the things that make you unique and memorable. Your authentic self is your most valuable asset. When you embrace it, you'll find that people are naturally drawn to you and more than willing to listen. As promised, here's a little something extra to help you become irresistible to your audience. Drum roll, please. Cultivate your sense of humor. Embrace the power of chuckles, giggles, and guffaws. A little laughter goes a long way. Being able to tickle someone's funny bone will make you more likable and memorable. Like a hilarious sitcom everyone loves to binge watch. So, grab your joke book, polish your puns, and fine-tune your witty banter because it's time to become the life of the laughing party. Whether you're a dad joke aficionado, a pun connoisseur, or the queen of snappy comebacks, your humor arsenal is about to level up. But remember, timing and context are everything. After all, you don't want to drop a knee slapper during a funeral. Laughter is like a magic potion that transforms awkward silences into goofy bonding moments. It creates positive atmosphere. Ah. Oh, God. Mm. Sorry, sir. You got a fly on your face. What? <gasps> Breaks the ice and even has the power to turn strangers into friends. When people are doubled over with laughter, they're more relaxed, open to listening, and secretly wondering if you moonlight as a stand-up comedian. Plus, a good sense of humor shows that you don't take yourself too seriously. You're not that stiff upper lip, stone-faced bore who sucks the fun out of every room. Instead, you're the approachable, relatable, and charming life of the party who has everyone in stitches. So folks, flex those funny muscles and spread joy through laughter. After all, they say laughter is the best medicine, and who wouldn't want to be known as the human prescription for happiness? Master active listening, exude confidence, speak clearly, find common ground, and be authentic to stop being ignored. And don't forget to add humor to become the life of the party. Share which tip resonates most in the comments and make us laugh. Apply these tips to becoming a captivating conversationalist and conquer every conversation. Anyway, long story short, that's why I'm five minutes late for work, because it took a long time for me to get the f*** in the car.